It's time for another episode of I Am Northwest Arkansas, the podcast covering the intersection of business, culture, entrepreneurship, and life in general here in the Ozarks. Whether you are considering a move to this area or trying to learn more about the place you call home, we've got something special for you. Here's our host, Randy Wilburn. Hey folks, Randy Wilburn here from I Am Northwest Arkansas. I'm here today with a special episode of the podcast. We are going live on Facebook Live. Well, actually not live, but we're going to share this video out on Facebook as well as on a couple of other platforms. But more importantly, we'll be pushing this out as we always do every Monday morning or every Monday um, as we put out a new episode of each podcast. And so today, I really wanted to talk with you a little bit about just the fact that tomorrow is Election Day, November 3rd, 2020. Yes, it is a year that will live in infamy. I don't know about you, but personally, I could just wipe 2020 off the slate and move on from there. But at the same time, I don't know if I really want to do that because... I've actually grown in this season, as I know a lot of you have. Um, we're all dealing with the issue of COVID-19, the pandemic, how it's affecting us differently. Some have been um, gravely ill. Some people have gotten it and it's passed through and they're back up and out. But um, the bottom line is that it's a tough time for everybody, but it also can be a season for real growth, uh, a season for understanding. And uh, as I like to say, a season to look inward <laughs> to see what's really going on inside of us. And I don't think anything could test our metal, could test who we are as individuals like a pandemic can. And certainly I don't want to see another pandemic in my lifetime, but because I have seen one, it has certainly informed who I am and what I want to become. Um, I think, you know what they say, pressure has a way of adding something to us. And when you apply pressure to anything, you see what it is made of. It's kind of like um, when you apply the pressure of heat to gold, it typically burns off all of the infirmities it burns off all of the impurities, and you're left with this pristine piece of gold that is really what is the end result when um, when a metallurgist or anybody takes and heats up gold to get rid of the imperfections. And just like gold, each one of us is kind of being heated up in this situation, and we're kind of finding out what we're really made of. And I don't know how many of you are enjoying this process. Um, again, I, I would say if I could wipe away 2020, possibly I would, if for no other reason but for all of the loss of life. But if I were to really look at what 2020 has meant to me as far as growing as an individual, as far as I don't know about anybody else, but I am closer to my family than I've ever been, literally and physically. And I know a lot of us can agree with that, that we've had chances to have conversations and spend time with family members and loved ones that typically are in our our sphere of influence way more than at any time in the recent past. Um, yeah, life is still happening. There's still soccer games and basketball practice and all that good stuff, but it's not happening at the pace and at the level that it was pre-pandemic. Everything has kind of ground to a halt, and so it's a much different time for us right now, but I just really want to encourage you to be thinking about what's next. Right. And and I guess that's kind of how I've dealt with this podcast. It has taken on a life of its own. I've been um, blessed to have so many amazing people on this show. And I'm so thankful for that opportunity. I'm so thankful to be able to just connect 
with so many different people. I even got a message the other day and was really cool um, from somebody that had been listening to the podcast and they just had some really nice words to say about what, you know, what the podcast is all about and, uh, you know, just their own experience. And I want to share this again. This is not a long episode, so just bear with me. But um, this is from Magnolia Filmhouse. They mentioned myself and Bachelorette Flip Pad, who we had on the podcast um, a while back. And it says, I have called Northwest Arkansas my home for my entire life. This tiny little corner of the state, home to the world's largest retailer, home to Tyson Foods, home to J.B. Hunt, basically home to some heavy hitters. It's also home to I Am Northwest Arkansas podcast. This podcast is all about the movers and shakers, the do-gooders, the business owners, the people that make this place so amazing, both on a local and a global stage. I was really excited to sit down with I Am Northwest Arkansas on the podcast recently. It's humbling because the previous guests have impressive resumes and job titles, and I'm honored to be included. I hope you'll go listen as I talk about not just my story, but NWA, my favorite local restaurant, my preferred places to invest, and why I love this place. And there's a link in the bio to listen. And um, that's just from uh, the great folks over at Bachelorette Flippad. And uh, I'm just so thankful for their support of the podcast, for coming on and and just sharing their thoughts uh, about this area and how it's made it a special place. And I wanted to share that because, uh, and that was... Jennifer McMurray from Bachelorette Flippad, and she's doing some great things. I mean, she's a daughter of a realtor, and she's cut her teeth in this industry for several years and is having tremendous success. So I want to thank her for just uh, this this shout out, and um, we'll link to her information in the show notes, and I think that was episode 77 of the podcast. So any of our podcasts... If you know the episode number, you can always go I am Northwest Arkansas.com forward slash and then the episode number. So in this case, you can go to episode 77 and hear Jennifer's story, hear all that she shared with us. It was pretty cool actually to uh, to learn about what she has done and how she basically paid off her school debt by going and just trying to do something different that she'd really never done before and that was invest in real estate sell real estate and give other people advice about it so anyway as i'm moving forward uh, we've been talking about a lot of things and uh i just mentioned the fact that um it's about time to vote which is uh, if you haven't already voted by absentee ballot or early voting. I think you can vote today in Northwest Arkansas. And then, of course, the polls are open all day tomorrow. So I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about that. And as I've always said, this is not a partisan show. We don't take sides per se. I have my own personal feelings and views about our political landscape as an African-American. I've talked about it in episode 70. Um, I think that episode is entitled Time for a Change. And uh, But you should listen to it. Don't assume that what time for a change I'm talking about. Just listen to it and understand um, the bigger picture of what we're dealing with. But the thing that I keep coming back to is that Northwest Arkansas is such a special place. It's a special place to live. I recognize that, um, you know, there are a lot of things here in Northwest Arkansas that are deeply embedded in tradition. And there are a lot of new things that are happening in Northwest Arkansas, partially because new people are moving here. There is an influx of new ideas. Um, We've got some of the best art, some of the best food, uh, some of the best artists. So that's going to inform our community here in Northwest Arkansas. And so I really want to encourage everyone here that... um, 
it, it, we got to figure out a way to rise above trying to take sides because of this election. Um, we need to continue to make this the best place that we can make it to live. And I really, I believe in my neighbors. I believe in everybody that I've encountered here in Northwest Arkansas. And uh, I, I'm just, you know, I firmly think that we can get through this. Uh, it, it is a time for introspection. It's a time, as I said earlier, that we get a chance to really get to know ourselves. And as Shakespeare said, to thine own self be true. But I also think it's an opportunity for us to understand the plight of our fellow men and women that are in this area. And I just want to encourage you today that you need to do what's right for you. You need to do what's right for your family, but you need to get out and vote no matter what. Don't let anything hold you up. If you need a ride to the polls, message me. Maybe I can give you a ride. I'll do what I can. Even in this uh, pandemic environment, we'll throw our masks on and we'll drive to the polls and see what we can do. But seriously, though, um, this is a, a very important time historically uh, as well as emotionally. A lot of people are going through um there are camps that feel like they're going to lose everything if they lose on this election. There are other camps that feel like, well, I think both camp feels both both camps feel that way, right? If if one person wins, then and, and I'm not for them, then I'm screwed. If the other person wins and I'm for them, then great for me, but my neighbor might be screwed. And I don't think that's the way that we need to look at it. I think as a nation, as a people, as a community, we need to rise above that. And if there was ever a place that I would bet my money on rising above it and continuing to work to just build um, relationships and coalitions and, and build community, it's Northwest Arkansas. And that's what makes this place so special. Yes, we are in the South. Yes, there are a lot of differences here. I get that. There's a lot of history here that we're dealing with. I get all that. But we are still growing and we are still a very unique bunch of folks here in Northwest Arkansas. And that's why I tell people that aren't from here, why they need to come check this out. I've said it over and over again. I never in a million years would have ever thought I would have moved to Northwest Arkansas, but I did, and I absolutely love it. So take that for what it's worth. I, I want to, again, encourage you. I appreciate you indulging me on this much shorter episode of the podcast, and we'll be back with regularly scheduled programming Um Next week, as always, every Monday, the podcast comes out. But uh, I'm not going to talk about any of our sponsors or anything like that. This episode was sponsored by me, yours truly, Randy Wilburn. And I appreciate each and every one of you for um, coming on and listening to this podcast, for checking us out, for sharing us with your friends. And let's continue to spread the word that Northwest Arkansas is a great place to live, that we have great neighbors, and the future, pandemic aside, is supernova bright, right? Because if we don't believe that, all hope is lost. The future is bright, and I really do feel that way in spite of a lot of things that are going on around us. I just want to encourage you to take on that mantle and run with it. And remember what I said earlier, nothing ever grows without having a little pressure added to it. And remember, gold, you are all gold, and all of us have imperfections, but we need to sometimes get heated up to burn some of that stuff off. And I think that's what the pandemic is doing for a lot of us metaphorically. So um, I hope that's worth something for some of you out there that are listening. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the I Am Northwest Arkansas podcast. I'm your host, Randy Wilburn, and I'll be back with you with a new episode next week. I can't wait to see you soon. Remember, November 3rd, 2020, get out and vote if you haven't already done it. If you have, God bless you. If you haven't, go take care of your civic duty and vote. 
I don't care who you vote for. I want you to get out and vote. Your voice matters. Your vote counts. That's all I have. I'll talk with you soon. Peace. We hope you enjoyed this episode of I Am Northwest Arkansas. Check us out each and every week, available anywhere that great podcasts can be found. For show notes or more information on becoming a guest, visit IamNorthwestArkansas.com. We'll see you next week on I Am Northwest Arkansas.